When you start treating esports like a sport and the players as pro athletes, that's actually when you start to improve. Uh, my name is Kasper Bitt and I'm the director of sports uh, at Astralis. My name is uh, Lars Robbel and I'm a sports psychologist. And besides that, I'm also the performance manager of our League of Legends team. More or less four years ago, we uh, needed a way to measure improvements. We needed a, a, a guideline of how do we want to build the teams in order to get the best performances possible. And in order to do that or to achieve that, uh, we have gathered a set of competences. As a, for myself, I'm the psychologist, a physical trainer, we got instructors, yoga instructors, we got a dietitian, we got a, a, a doctor. By doing these things, we created the performance model, uh, and which consists of Different fields. One thing is the physical side of a performance. With the physical uh, one, we have, I mean, there are uh, main objectives in, in that field. That's something with the sleep, it's the nutrition, it's the, the physical level. Everybody sitting at a desk for many hours, we know that suddenly our neck is, is, is really tense. If we were able to improve those things, uh, we wouldn't feel pain. If you don't feel pain, you don't use maybe 5% of your energy and, oh, my shoulder really hurts, you know. We need 100% focus for the players in-game when we play. Uh, and in order to get that, we needed to work on the physical conditions uh, outside the game. I think the most important factors or pillars of the uh, performance model is the physical side and, and the mental side. On the mental side, it's their, their ability to to deal with uncertainty, to deal with stress, um, yeah, that comes with the uh, with the game. If it was League of Legends, team fight, round a dragon, Counter Strike, 14-14, uh, two men left each team, FIFA game, uh, going into extra time or the end of the extra time. How can we get the players to be more relaxed uh, during game, even though? The in-game stuff is actually quite interesting and, and uh, we are getting into the crucial moments of winning or losing. We work with each, each player with a common foundation. Everybody goes through a test system where six different parameters are measured. It's difficult to, to go into details, but uh, what we know is that we, we can't deal all the players equal. Because a team consists of individuals with individual needs. So in order to get the team to perform, we, 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 we got to meet the individuals where they are and, and with the needs they have. Uh, so uh, that's why we have created individual development plans that takes off in the needs of the individual. And that, that, that differs from, from, from individual to individual. So the way we have to deal with everybody is common foundation. And from there, uh, we go on an individual direction with each player. Prior to, to, to this watch, uh, we could use the, the heart rate monitoring devices where you could measure the, the heart rate in-game, out-game. You could see if, if, if is there a pattern, is there a, a illness on the way and, and, and so on. But we didn't really do that because that was too, I think it was too uh, complicated. I think it's really important to state that the perfect performance is composed, of course, with some in-game stuff, what we see, but the, maybe the biggest part of the performance is created behind the scene. And that is why Garmin is such an important partner for us in order to get this, these parameters we don't see. Especially the gamers, and, and again, now come back to the culture, as, as we see it, especially with the, with the League of Legends, the newer team with the culture, they have a not optimal sleep pattern. The problem with uh, gaming is often that one hour takes to the next and suddenly you have spent too many hours uh, in front of the computer and the good hours you had at the beginning, you might be able to focus for three, four, five hours, but suddenly you play 10 and the, you have the impression that, oh, I really played bad because the last hours you're not able to focus. You actually destroy the good hours you had at the beginning. The, the watch itself actually measures uh, sleep patterns. Uh, you can follow your sleep quality, you can follow more or less when do you fall asleep and when do you wake up. So, I mean, being able to monitor that in order to break that cycle, I mean, that's, 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 a, that's a huge advantage.
You don't have to have three or four devices in order to measure and get the data that you need. It's a tool that is that is designed, in this case, for, for, for eSports, and it's, it's very accessible, easy accessible. It just takes one click and then you have the number or whatever, so you can easily track your, your development and, and your status.